obviously you miss sort of the day-to-day -day politics, the meeting people, the, the racing around the city. And um, is there is there something really nice about you know now being at home with your with your wife and 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 your grandkids and and to know that all that's behind you? Yeah, it's nice to know you can be with your grandkids, be with your family at times when you couldn't other times. You gave up a lot being mayor. That was a 24 7 job. I made it that way. And uh, I used to love being with my grandkids. Uh, now I'm with them more than ever. It's, great. it's fabulous. I mean, you got six of them that go uh, from 16 down to 10. Uh, five, four of them are teenagers. That's a problem. <laughs> and then, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Mm. Uh, 16 and 10 and four teenagers and there. They're good kids. They really are. I'm lucky to have them. Did it scare you when you got the, when you heard the word cancer? I was taken back a little bit. But, you know, my doctor says, you know, you have cancer. And um, I says, I says to the doc, we got a problem. Let's deal with it. Let's move forward. Let's not feel sorry for me. Let's go forward and see how we handle the situation. That's how I feel about it. You know, and, and now that I have it, it's public. I've had a lot of phone calls from people that just diagnosed with cancer, looking for some help. I just say that, you know, you got to be positive. Do what the docs tell you to do and go move on. And, you know, today's better chance of survival with cancer than you ever had before. 